YouTube, this is JS Man with Smart, and I'm today with another brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Photoshop and how to render out images with a solid color background or the type of gradient. I know we have a video already on how to render out an image with a dynamic background, an abstract background, or with a background that has a bit more color in it. However, I want to show you how to take a picture out of a background that is either white, either black, either a solid color that's sort of like a gradient. It's actually very easy to do and doesn't take very long at all. So what I have, I have several picture files here. I'm going to open one example. So what I have here is some vector design art and I have a purple background here. If I want to get rid of this purple background and only have the gold vector designs, what I can do is very easily double click my layer to unlock it. If it's a background layer right now, it's just one layer, so it's just fine. But once you've unlocked the layer by double clicking it, right click the layer, go to blending options. When you're at blending options in the first tab here, you'll see there are two sliders here. Now the first slider is what we're looking at. If you tend to have a dark background, purple is pretty dark. So we're going to go ahead and grab the darker side of the slider and drag it in like so until we see the purple go away. Now, if you move the, the, the lighter slider that's towards the white, you can actually get rid of the gold. However, we don't want that. We want to get rid of the background that's purple. So we're going to go and grab the dark slider, drag it in until we see it go away. We can go and press OK then. We can actually zoom in and you'll see that uh, the purple is completely gone. Now, uh, be aware if you do want to make um, continuous edits, you do have to rasterize this layer again. So just be aware about that. But this is basically how to get rid of the background if we're using a picture like this. Another example here I have is a picture of a house. We have a white color background and usually you could use the magic wand tool or you could use the quick selection tool. However, very easily we can go ahead and right click again. We can go to blending options and then in blending options here, we can go ahead and use the white slider. Now the first slider all the way to the right, the lighter side, we can bring it down just a little bit. And as you can see, it goes away already. Be aware if you move it down too much, you're going to start getting rid of some of the uh, darker whites in this picture. So you only want to move the slider uh, as as much to the left until you see the background go away. Because what, th what this does is basically analyzes the colors and it takes away the brightest colors. So if you have a very bright white in your picture, which you'll see becomes problematic later on with a, with a, with a later example, uh, you'll get rid of some of the colors in your picture that you want. So just be very careful with the slider. Move it down only a little bit, only a tad. So you can actually see what you're removing in the background, but you can press OK. And now we have the rendered out picture here. In fact, now I want to show you an example where this does not work and you would have to use uh, the method that I showed in another tutorial. If you have not seen the uh, tutorial on rendering out an image, the uh, basically the, the traditional way, I'll leave a link on screen out through an end card. So you go and check that tutorial out. But uh, that's how you basically do it. If you were to try to do it this way, though, this method, you'll see it doesn't really work. We go to blending options again here. And we see there's a dark shade here and there's a light shade here. If we move the dark shade down, yes, we do get rid of it. But as you see, we keep on going, we keep on going, we keep on going. It starts to get rid of uh, the colors inside we actually want. If we want to have this, uh, this piece of text here, this uh, 3D art here, it won't work. If we go with the light side, it works even less. As you can see, it starts going out and it just doesn't work. So for some pictures, this method does not work, especially if you have... Uh, bright colors in your background and inside the picture you actually want, you'd have to use a traditional method of rendering this out. So that's an example of what doesn't work. I want to show you one more example where you need to do a mixture of the two methods. However, it's still very easy and quick. Now for this example here, we have a picture of uh, a gradient in the background with some dark text here, uh, dark green, light green and white. Now, once again, make sure you double click your background layer, press OK, that way you unlock it, then right click blending options. And what we're going to do, we want to get rid of the dark background. So we're going to grab the dark slider here on the dark side and just start to move it in. Now, you want to be careful because uh, you do realize that there is dark in the green. So you want to make sure that you don't get any of the green out. So I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is actually press cancel. And we're going to zoom in a bit towards a dark area here just to be sure we don't get uh, any mess ups here. So blending options again. And we're going to go, we're gonna go ahead and move the slider down. And as you can see, it slowly gets rid of everything. Now, as you see, uh, we still have this weird dark border around the text. And if we keep on moving it down, you'll see that 
we actually can't get rid of it without getting rid of some of the green even. As you can see, there's still some of this dark blue border on the text, but if we keep on going down in the slider, it gets rid of some of the green as well because there are some green dark areas. So what I'm going to do is just slightly get it to the point where it doesn't get rid of any of the green, where it gets rid of the majority of the blue, and it pretty much got rid of the majority of the blue, I believe. Yeah, it did. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and what you'll see now is we got the blue out of the picture, but there's still some borders here. So if you want to continuously make more edits now to get rid of the background, you have to rasterize your layer. So right click your layer, convert it to a smart object first, and then right click layer again, click rasterize layer. And now what you can do, you can go ahead and right click your layer again, click select pixels. And what you'll see, this will basically select all the elements in this picture. Then we're going to go up to select, we're going to go down to modify modify here and then we're going to go to contract and we're going to contract this by one pixel just we're going to press ok and that's going to bring our selection in by one then go up to select again go to inverse and then inverse you're going to press ctrl c to cut and as you'll see now we have the blue out of the uh, text as you can see we still have some little bits of blue here and you can go with your eraser tool and erase that but for the most part, you have pretty much gotten rid of all the blue, the blue border, and the blue background. So that's basically the magic of the blending options and how to cut out the background or render out specific elements in a picture with a gradient background, solid color background, black or white background. Hopefully you found the tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on board. Plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding image editing, Photoshop, uh, audio editing, video editing, lots of cool stuff. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to donate $8 to my Patreon page, you can do so. Anything as low as a dollar is very much appreciated and helpful. And if you want to check out the vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, the music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Mouse Smart. I'll be back soon when you think. Don't go anywhere. Told you to walk away. That was my first and last mistake. I'm blue without your face. I'm just a sinking ship And you're just a